Okay, so this brings us to sort of a, it's sort of an overarching, um, it, it's a goal that covers the rest of the goals in a way, and it has this really big concept name to the point where it baffles everybody <laughs> who hears it, including me the first time until you explained it, and then I had to explain it to Christine yesterday, and that's the idea of building the monarch. So, or as you simplified it, a site that works. A site that works. So Christine said, um, Christine brought a, uh, the, the, when we had our meeting yesterday, Christine's our major uh, strategizer. Like she is the engine right now. Yeah, she's the engine. She's like, hey, we need something kind of project managed and taken care of, hand it to Christine. And so she printed out the avalanche slides and brought them to the meeting. And she's the only one I'm a little unsure on is the monarch. And I said, would I suggest, I would suggest that you ignore that. I said, because yes, we're going to kind of need to make, well, I don't really understand what it is. I don't really get it. And I said, okay, just I'm guaranteeing you're overcomplicating it because so did I, because with a name like the Monarch <laughs> and Sean, by the way, just to clear this up, like I'm just talking to you now. So the, um, the initial slide was like, it wasn't even just like build the Monarch. It was like showing all these lines and you, everybody was just like making notes. Like, I'm just like, guys, it's just a fucking website that actually makes sense. Like that's all it is. But yes, yeah, Seth gets the Monarch because it's, that's what it, it's basic platform. Connect building. all the things. Yeah. Yeah, but, I but think, we don't have anything like that. So no. it, it, it's an initiative and initiatives need names like it needs. Right. But but you're right. It is just harmonized. Yeah. Right. So I'm actually right now getting a flurry. I don't know if you're still on these of um, realmansands.com spam comments. Oh, I'm not. Thank God. All of a sudden we're getting like. Um, make your dick bigger. Like, okay, thanks. Is that a comment on our, is, you know, is revenge ever justified post? How about some free Cialis? Good point. Um, which makes me wonder, like, why do they do that? Because there's no, like, it's all no follow. How are they getting anything out of that? But whatever. Um, my point is that, like, that was an example of when we were very siloed. Like, our, our Realm and Sans imprint was, that's our inquisitive fiction. That's you and me. And it didn't overlap with CI, let alone the smarter artist let alone experiential education and all the other stuff. And so building sterlingandstone.net is at the same time this very big project, and at the same time the concept is very simple at the core, which is take everything we have and make them make sense on the website. Right, we, we want clear paths to everything. That means internal content and that means external content. And this is a problem that we, well, it's not a problem at all, but it's a structure that we want to understand and solve now so that we can add to it later. So as new little micro businesses come up, for mm -hmm. example, they need to, whether it's a fully like full business over here that has distribution, like let's say we were printing our own books or our t-shirts or whatever, like we're trying to get into things like merchandise and printing. So let's assume that it's a few years now and we have that, then we want to be able to send people to that. If Story Jackets became its own thing, we would want that traffic to go both ways. We would want people to be able to find Story Jacket and then be led into um, you know, our sphere of influence and become a smart artist. Or maybe they're using Story Shop. Like that's a big thing that we talked about. How do we get the potential hundred thousand people that are using story shop to become smarter artists you know one at a time we need to build those paths and those mechanisms so if we've got sterlingandstone.net we've got story shop we've got you know um, all of our podcasts all of the network we've got guest posts and stuff we're doing we've got facebook twitter youtube um you know instagram all the things that haven't been invented yet <laughs> right um, all these standalone apps, right? Like if we build a standalone app, that's also a story shop module. It needs to link to story shop. It needs to link back to Sterling and Stone. So we just needed to figure out a way to make like all of our book pages and everything is just understood. And it's not even all on site. Like some of this is going to be done via email autoresponders, yep. which are based on certain actions. I mean, I think that anybody um, with a, a diverse business, uh, and we were certainly guilty of this, is and I was even when I was independent was okay well I do this so I, everything goes you know it, do I do it okay throw it on the site and if you do that then somebody goes and it's like that jam study thing where like yeah you know the jam study if you, if you don't know this one is is like I don't remember the numbers but they had like I don't know 10 jams and people could choose between no them. it was over 30 it was over 30 and people were just like no right and then they narrowed it down to like what five yeah I think like three that. I think three was the sweet spot and then like and then the, the sheer number of units of jam sold was way more with three, three. than with 30. 
exponentially. Like, right. It was crazy. And you'd think having more, like actually they do this in, in restaurants, like when Rem- Gordon Ramsay does Kitchen Nightmares. Right. Fewer items on the on Right, the, on because the they have like, and these, these restaurants are all proud of like, we have 32 pages on the menu. And he comes in, he's like, you have 32 pages on the menu? Are you crazy? Do the accent. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but you know, like he'll change it to a, a single sheet. Right. Right. So that's exactly it. We actually wanted, because we're and not or people. So we want the 32 page menu, but we only want anybody at any given time to see a single sheet. Yeah, right. The analogy is you walk through the door and we know right away that you're a vegetarian. Yes. So we give you the vegetarian menu. We know you're gluten free, so we give you the gluten free menu. We know that you came in and you really meant to go into the place next door, so we give you a map. Like, right, I mean, right. it needs to be things like that. Yeah, that's actually great. And, and that's actually the point here because you can actually see how integrated all of these goals are. Right, so we talked really early about all the ways that we're trying to scale fiction and how and blow up our brand, right? Mm-hmm. So those first two goals are very dependent on how we attract people and then how we message them once they, you know, uh, become part of our sphere. And that messaging is important to the point where if we get it wrong, then we're wasting all of our traffic. But if we get it right, then we can exponentially grow. And you can see how dependent a lot of our initiatives are on the monarch which is basically like have funnels and flows and site structure that works and makes sense and that's really all there is to it it just isn't a topic that needs a lot of discussion it's making getting everything that we need into one one place but also not overwhelming a a viewer but it's also like something that an individual author could pay attention to themselves too right so like a a micro monarch like how are all of your pieces how is your author's page how is your facebook how is everything tied together so that no matter where somebody finds you Mm -hmm. you know they find the things that they're supposed to and it's something i think a lot of authors think of too late and then it gets harder and like we're thinking of it pretty late but still before all this other stuff is right. coming so it's 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 good to be top of mind